Welcome everybody for a little tutorial about le truc, the four voices quantic synthesizer. Uh, to explore le truc, I've made a little MIDI sequence. Uh, I'll show you. Here, you notice there is a C, a D, a C, a D, and a F. Uh, so, let's play this sequence with le truc. Not very interesting, every key plays the same exact pitch. Uh, low, let's uh, click here to begin the tutorial. And we see why well, we've got to load some drums patch, uh, snapshot. If we play the sequence, nothing changed, it's normal. We've got to solve the equation the snapshot. So uh, let's solve it and let's listen. Now each key play a different sound. And if we solve again, So, the snapshot is not really a snapshot, it's just the rules that will generate the sounds and uh, each key we will have its own setting according to the rules we've set. Uh, here you can uh, control the master volume, uh, here the, the pressure is a multiband compressor I stole in the reactor user library. Uh, wonderful multiband compressor which is called multi-pressure uh, and here there is a bubus crusher we'll see uh, this feature at the end of this tutorial let's go on okay the core of the trick is the bubu controller you'll notice uh, there are a lot of bubu controllers here each one control one synth parameter uh, let's load the init drum again, solve it. You'll notice that each key always play, plays the same sound. Uh, we'll pick the C3 key. You know, here you notice that you've got the name of the key uh, and the, its MIDI number. Uh, if we change the course value, then I can change the pitch of the C key. Let's do it with the D key now. Okay, on the F key maybe. Now if we play the sequence. You notice that I've changed the synth parameter for each key. Uh, so we can edit uh, any parameter of the synth for each key using the bubu controller. Uh, we change the pitch course, but uh, any parameter can be set for each key here. Let's go on. Uh, we are here, we are using the edit uh, face of the bubu controller, but if I click on the left part of the bubu controller, the display changes. Uh, you notice uh, white uh, square here. Uh, this defines the the rule for this parameter. If I click here and go from left to right and up and down, then I have uh, got a little orange rectangle uh, with that sets the min and max values. That means now that if I solve again each key. will have a different pitch. If I set it here, for example, I've 
I'll have only low pitch uh, values here we solve okay each key has, has got a high uh, pitch key and if I have a, a big range now I solve it notice that each key has uh, uh, the pitch between the max and min values. Let's go on. Uh, the truck was designed for drums, but it also can play tunes. Let's see it. We load some synths and we solve it. Remember to always solve because it doesn't work if you do not. Let's listen. <laughs> Now each key plays uh, the, the MIDI tune, but uh, each key has its own setting, and for example... Uh okay, let's do it again, but with solving, and now... Okay. Uh, according to the rules that have been set for this preset, each key will have its own sound, but uh, its pitch will be controlled by MIDI. Okay, let's do it again. Cool. Let's go on. You've seen that uh, the snapshot can generate sounds but let's do the reverse let's pick a key to generate the uh, equation let's pick one i choose this one okay now if i click the infer button here and solve it The sound I choose is now applied to the, all the whole keyboard. Okay, fine. Uh, let's go on. Under the infer knob, there is a blur setting. The blur setting means you can add some blur to the equation. So now if I infer your sound and solve it, the sound is little bit, a little bit different from uh, the original one. Uh, notice here that it's not uh, uh, you've got some min and max values set. Uh, let's do it again. I, I infer, I solve. Okay, you notice that each uh, key plays a different sound. It's not the same. It depends on the amount of uh, of blur you set here, using the mod wheel, or you can do it manually here. Uh, I like this sound. I want to infer it. I put blur to zero. I infer. I solve and. And this sound is applied to the whole keyboard with, uh, if we have a look to the equation, you see that everything is, at the, is set uh, with the same min and max values of each time I solve. The, every key has got the same setting. Okay, let's go on. Uh, now I lost uh, the previous settings, but I can use the time machine the moment. And if I click past here, I go back uh, in the earlier moments where uh, when I solved earlier uh, equations. Okay. Okay, let's go to the future. Uh, 
if I save uh, this snapshot, uh, it will uh, save uh, all the sound settings, so I can solve it again to re restore the sound setting. Okay. Next. In fact, the snapshots store only equations, but the s 128 key sounds are stored in banks. Banks are here. Okay, I can change the bank number. Let's uh, load again uh, some some drums, for example. Okay, I solve. Okay, I go to bank one, solve again. Okay, if I go back to bank zero on morph, use the morph knob here. Let's play this, uh, the sequence. Okay, we've got the setting for bank one and bank two, and I can use the muff knob. Okay, this is the bank one setting. If I double click, I go back to the bank zero and I can use the mod wheel, the pitch bend wheel to morph from one bank to another word for each key. Okay, fine. On the left part of the of the truck panel you see that I can display uh, the edit panel of each BB controller, the equation, it means the man, min and max values for the parameter, and there another face which is the warp mode. Uh, uh, the warp mode we'll see uh, in a second. Here at the at the upper left part of the synth, I can change the display to the global settings. Uh, I let you discover what uh, these knobs uh, are for. Uh, notice that all these settings are stored with a snapshot. Uh, let's you, you've got the effects part here. Uh, let's go back here and go on. Uh, here, when auto is engaged under the big uh, keynote, uh, each time you pick a key, uh, it is selected to be edited. Notice that the values change here. Okay, can be deactivated so you can change the value of the F key. Okay. Okay, I can change only the F. If I set it to auto, the last played key will be selected for edit. Okay, I can go to the equation part to set the min and max values. And now we, we, are, we can go to the warp mode. What is the warp mode? Warp will uh, control the synth parameter for all the keys at the same time uh, that will offset uh, the value. So let's uh, try it. Okay, if I double click, it's restored to the default value. Uh, okay. Now there is a cool feature which is the real time blur. You notice that with the mod wheel you control the amount of blur here. I use the mod wheel. Uh, I loaded all of your organ. I solve it. Okay, if I got more blur, now each key will fluctuate. Uh, we have a 
fluctuating uh, pitch. Okay, clean, fluctuating. Uh, what uh, the real time blur do is set here in this space. You can uh, affect the pitch, but uh, also the envelope amount, the f frequency modulation amount, uh, the cutoff, the pan, uh, and it depends on what you've set here. If I go here and play again, okay, the blur will will modulate the pitch randomly modulate the pitch a lot. Okay. Now, the BB Scratcher. Let's load the uh, Scratch Me, for example. We've got to solve it. Let's listen. Okay, the Bubu Scratcher is a per voice compressor, a little bit violent, and uh, it's interesting because uh, you can uh, compress each key uh, and it can bring uh, some interesting results sometimes. Uh, I think it's the end of this tutorial. Uh, feel free to send me an email if you got questions or suggestions. Uh, and uh, I just forgot to mention here if you activate the show info hint, you'll notice that um, almost all the, the controllers uh, on parts of the scenes are documented. So, for example, here if I, I can see it's, uh, I can assess the pitch of the FM oscillator here. Uh, just explore. Okay. Uh, that's all. I hope you enjoy it uh, and have fun. Uh, just explore. Thanks. Bye.